All right, time for another math easy solution here. Discuss some laws of logarithms and look at the proof for this one, which is ln x y equals ln x plus ln y. I've also I've actually gone over uh, the, these three properties in my earlier video videos on logarithms, but now I'm going to do basically the same uh, prove these again, but using the calculus and integrals and derivatives, uh, etc. Like I explained in my last video on uh, logarithms as um, integrals. Basically, this, these are these three um, properties here. I'm going to go over these laws uh, one by one. I'll prove this one today, and then in the next video, I'll go over these, uh, these two separately. So basically, if x and y are positive numbers, and r is a rational number, like you've seen in my earlier video, rational numbers, basically, if you have, uh, let's say, r equals 2, yeah, basically a and b where where these are both integers and where b is not equal to zero so basically if you could write it let's let, let's say for example two is is an integer is a rational number because you could go two over one uh three over four etc one over three so these are all rational numbers so basically if you have that then you then these laws apply so for uh, this one uh lawn or natural log of x y equals ln of x plus ln of y. And then this one right here is ln of x divided by y. This equals 2 basically ln x minus y. So if it's divided by you minus, if it's multiplication, you add. And the last one is ln of x to the power of r equals r times ln x. So you just bring that down. So now let's go over the proof for this one right here. All right, so I've written down this part over here. So the first thing to do here is let's say, let's start off with um, a function. Let's just say let a equals to any positive number. Yeah, here let a equals positive number or just a constant number. So basically any, so it just uh, it's a constant and just stays whatever number it is if it's positive. So if we have this part here, and if we were to look at, let's say the derivative of d over dx of ln a times x. So we'll just take the derivative of this one. This is part of the proof. So if we take the derivative of this, we know from our earlier video, the derivative of ln is uh, just going to go basically 1 over whatever this is, ax. And now using chain rule, the derivative of the inside, that's just going to be, well, this is just a constant. So it's going to be times by a. So then this will equal to these cancel out, you'll equal to 1 over x. So what this is saying is that, well, if, if this derivative is 1 over x, because we know that the derivative d over dx of ln x is basically equal to 1 over x. So these are the same exact derivative and the only way that they're the same derivative is basically if these functions are separated by a constant. So for example, ln of a plus ax right here has to equal to ln x. Because remember, the derivative is the exact same, but they're separated by a constant right here. So when we have this constant, as, as you can see, the derivative of this side is going to equal the derivative of this side. This, can't, this constant just cancels out. So if the derivatives are the same, then it has to be the same. So basically, we have this part. And now, yeah, now to solve for what the c constant is, if we just let uh, basically at x equals to 1, we could just plug that in and we'll get basically ln of a, so equals to ln of 1 plus c and ln of 1 is just 0. So we get basically ln of a equals to c. So what this means is, yeah, what this means if we add this uh, c inside here, we get ln of ax equals to ln of uh, basically x right here, and then the constant, which is going to be ln of a. So basically, this is our proof. And now if we just say, let's say, let a equals to, or we just switch a with y. Then this is any positive constant. This is another positive number of constant. So we can just switch that over, and, and this is basically ln uh, xy. I, I just used a here just to get this xy out of there, because you usually use it for y-intercept, uh, for y-axis, et cetera. I just wanted to make it easier to see. So basically, ln x plus ln y. So there, there is basically our, our answer right here. And there's the proof for this one using basic uh, integrals and derivatives. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this video, and like always, you can download these exact notes. Just stay tuned for my uh, later videos, which I'll prove this uh, this law and this law as well. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.